Hi, old Nick here from Technology Lowdown. Today we are looking at advanced pinging. Now, the ping tool is quite a simple command. It's built into Windows and Linux. It's built into most major operating systems. In fact, it's quite fundamental to uh, IPv, uh, TCP IP in terms of connecting uh, connectivity. Um, so today we'll be looking at a variety of my favorite types of ping commands and utilities that um, I think that everyone should know about. Um, for a long time I used to just use ping, uh, just ping google.com and I used to just do uh, four pings which is what Windows does by default and that was as much as I knew about ping for quite a while until I actually looked deeper. So let's get started. So ping is a part is uh, on the network layer of the OSI model. We can see it uh, involves packets, IP, ICMP, IPsec, and IGMP. So it's the network layer. It's the, one of the fundamentals in determining if a computer is, or if a device is online or offline, if it can communicate, send and receive packets. So that is um, the brief rundown of what ping is. So if we look up ping in Windows, um, you can do something similar to this in Linux to uh, get the instructions. I think it's ping hyphen help or ping hyphen h should be one or the other. So in Windows, ping forward slash question mark, that'll show you all the possibilities. Now, what we can see here, there's 18 different possibilities that you can configure. Um, and you can use these switches actually with that ping command that you choose to do. So just straight up out, up out of the box, if I go ping google.com, we can see that I can ping google.com. Um, now, first thing, if you're determining if a device is online or not, and you don't want to have to keep coming back to your computer to see if it's online to run this ping command, which only goes four times, just add the T-switch to the end, and we will see that it will continue to go past the four until you stop it by pressing Control c So that is a useful tip straight up. Let's clear that one. Let's bring back that help command there. Um, so if we go ping again, um, you may notice that I was pinging uh, IPv6 addresses. Uh, that's because we've got IPv6 connectivity here. So if I just uh, do that again, I'll go ping google.com, but I'll add a hyphen 4 at the end. So that means that uh, Windows is going to default to that um, IPv4 uh, route to get to google.com. So as an example here, I'll add the T-switch on as well and that will continue to go past the four pings. So that's also a further helpful tip in using ping. Um, so there's many other options. So let's have a look at one other, but it's quite self-explanatory, these commands here. And um, if you know about these, then you will be able to integrate them into uh, further troubleshooting if you are uh, deter determining if you have connectivity to a device or not, or if you're just doing ping tests. An example of how you can use um, ping is say if you've got a device that keeps on dropping on and offline, uh, then you can run a ping command over a number of hours with a timestamp. Now this type of feature isn't built into Windows, but um, you can download a utility for Windows. In Linux, you can uh, run a bit of a script alongside your ping command, and that will add a timestamp. And I'll go through that at the end of this video today. Uh, so we might look at one other command here. So l let's look at the size, which is the uh, hyphen L here, send buffer size. Uh, so I'll go ping google.com we'll add the L on the end let's go for 5,000 now there's a limit to how much you can do for here so 5,000 is a bit too much we'll reduce that one a bit let's go 1,500 that uh, looks to be a little bit too much still let's go 1,480 still too much go 100 all right so it's responding back with 100 um, so where this is useful is you can determine uh, the maximum size of like the packet that you can send it to the device before um, it, it, you are your computer needs to fragment that data when it is sending it back and forth to the remote uh, host 
All right, so that's 1400 and let's go 1450. All right, so it looks like about 1400 is the limit there for google.com for receiving those packets on my particular connection here. So hopefully that um, brief intro to uh, ping and those advanced commands you've got. Again, if you would like to see further commands, go ping forward slash question mark. And that'll show you all the um, possibilities of the uh, commands that you can run there with the required switches. So the second part of this video is in relation to how you can log something with a timestamp. So in Windows, I use a utility called HR Ping. So HR Ping, it's a ping utility, it's called High Precision Ping. So you want to download this one right here. All right, so once you've got HR Ping downloaded, you want to navigate to the folder that you've got it in. All right, so I've got HR Ping right here. So open up Command Prompt. You want to switch to, if it's on a different drive, to G drive, switch to your location that it is in. I'm going to go CD to here. All right, down there. Whoops. It's on the next command. Um, so let's open up HR Ping. HR Ping is what we need there. And I'm just going to copy this command, which I've already got worked out. Cancel that one there. Alright, so it's HR Ping. You put in the host that you want to connect to. So Google.com is the example here. Uh, now we've got a couple of switches on the end here. I might just bring up HR Ping with the uh, help switch. Alright, so these are all the options for HR Ping. I'll put it on the screen. Um, so with HR Ping, we've got uh, hyphen I on the end, time to live, size buffer again. We've got count the number of packets uh, to send. We've got ping specified host till stop. So it's very similar to Windows, but where this program is useful is with the hyphen capital T switch, which prints a timestamp in front of each line. So I'll just go back to that command, which I've got here on my clipboard. Um, and basically what this command is doing, it's pinging it until I stop it, it's putting a timestamp on, and then the F is, of course, for the uh, log to a file, and then we've got log file, google.com, that's the name of the file, and this is going to, by default, save into the folder that hrping.exe is located in. So I'll just bring over the window that has hrping there, and we'll see that we've got a file here called logfile.txt. And if I open that one up, we can then scroll through that one and see that we can ping it and it hasn't dropped out. So that is how you can do it on Windows. Let's jump on over to uh, Linux and we can run a command from there as well. All right, so we are in Linux and you want to open up Terminal. Uh, I'm just going to work out what folder I'm in. Looks like I'm in my root uh, login uh, documents folder. All right, and I've got this command here. And don't worry, all these commands I will post a link to in the description. Uh, this is a uh, knowledge base uh, website, which I'm referring to, which is my own. And I'm just going to paste this one in here. And so what we can see here is we've got uh, sudo elevating the permissions, although I don't really need to do that because I'm using root. Uh, this is Kali Linux. So if I'm going to ping a host, I'll put in ping, and I'll just uh, put in one that I know is definitely up. All right, so while read pong, do echo date. So it's just getting the date using uh, what you do in a shell script, and pong is for the ping. And then we're going done, and uh, then we got the actual file that we're saving into. So I'll call it uh, go Google uh, ping. All right. So what we can see happening here is it will be logging that to a log file. Now there is no uh, like verbose output here for this one, but uh, it will be actually saving that one. So I'll just cancel that one now, and if we go cat. And I'll go uh, Google. Oh, I have to go via Google. Uh, okay, no, no.
All right, so we can see we've got um, those ping commands saved here to that file, and yeah, it's logging with a date timestamp. Well, I hope that's invited you to look a little further into the ping command. For a long time, as I said before, I've only ever ran simple commands with the ping uh, utility on Windows and Linux, but uh, for the last several years, I have actually been running quite specialized pings. Um, now, they're not really specialized, but they are more advanced than just running pinggoogle.com. And it is something that you should be aware of, especially if you're um, working with networks. And yeah, if you have liked this video, please like it. Or if you would like to see more, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on future videos from Technology Lowdown. I'm Nicholas, and thanks for watching another video. Bye.